Hey, Fish and Burgers family. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about a little bit on my boat build, specifically the rod locker. I'm gonna show you how you can take a simple bottle like this and turn it into a tool to make your rod locker. As you can see in this video, I'm heating up a two inch PVC pipe to flare out the tips. Now at first, I thought, because back in my car audio days, we used ports for subwoofer boxes, which would have worked great. But the problem is, is a lot of the ports aren't very long, two to six inches, and some rod end butts are much longer. As you can see, I just used the bottle that I was talking about earlier in the video to start to flare out the tip. The pipe started getting a little warm, so I went ahead and put on a, a welding glove to insulate my hand from the heat. <clears throat> it wasn't quite warm enough to flare it out as much as I wanted, so I continued heating it. Later on in this video, you'll see that I will actually put it inside the boat where it's gonna be, slide the pipe through the hole that I drilled, and then take the bottle again and put it back in the end of the pipe that I'm warming up to help flare out that more so it fits in the boat better. While I have a minute, I want to give a quick shout out to Michael Lopez at Tiny Boat Nation and Anthony Jones at Top Gun John Boat. Both these guys influenced me a lot to work on this little project of mine, my 12 foot V-hole John Boat. Got a lot of ideas from them and was able to bounce off questions with them. A couple great guys. Here you can see the four holes for a four rod locker. You'll see a hose clamp slid up into the pipe. After I got the pipe pushed in as far as I wanted, I secured it with the hose clamp so it wouldn't slide back out the other end. Next video clip you'll see where I heated up the end of the pipe a little bit more so I could flare out the pipe so it wouldn't slide the other way. In this area that you see, it's a box where I have foam walls. Once everything's in place and I like how it looks, I'm going to put pour foam in this area to help with buoyancy for the boat. All right. Here again, I'm working on my fourth and final rod locker pipe piece fitting. I'm sliding it in, getting it placed where I would like it. Now I'm taking the bottle that I spoke of earlier, shoving it back in there, flaring it out, making sure that it will not slide through and fall out the back. You'll see the hose clamps next to my head. Those will go into that back part portion and keep it from sliding the other way. Once they're cinched down, they pretty much will not fall out. Next, I will be finishing up the foam walls. That way when I put the pour foam in, that pour foam will not uh, ooze out the other end. Now we're working on the front half of the rod locker. As you can see, I'm just getting started here. Um, I got the first pipe in. I highly recommend you put the bottom pipe or the furthest pipe down in first. Uh, otherwise, trying to do it any other way, it becomes extremely difficult to reach. <clears throat> this probably took the longest out of the whole rod locker install because I have a really sharp bend there that goes from there to the front of the boat. The pipes you see me working on are about seven foot, six inches long. So for overall length of the rod locker, I could probably fit up to 10, 10 foot rods. Um, I highly suggest that when you do put your rods in here, you don't leave them overnight or for a few days because there is an extreme bend to these pipes which isn't good for the rods to stay bent like that for a long period of time. I basically just use those 
rod lo the rod locker as storage for when I'm out on the boat so I can have a few on the deck plus the ones that are in the rod locker for a long day out on the water. It took me total about six hours to finish the rod locker pipes, heating them up, bending them, getting to fit in place where I wanted them. By far, probably the longest uh, pro project part to this boat build. Please help me get this video trending. Like, subscribe, and share.